was the year 2008. The world was facing one of the biggest financial crises in history. Banks were collapsing. People had lost trust in the financial system, and the money they had in their accounts was losing its value. But amidst all this, a revolutionary idea was born. On October 31st, 2008, an anonymous person or group under the name Satoshi Nakamoto published a paper on a cryptography forum. This paper, now known as the Bitcoin White Paper, introduced a new financial system. Money that no bank controlled and could be transferred directly between individuals. In this white paper, Satoshi Nakamoto introduced a new system that operated using something called blockchain. This system allowed everyone to send and receive money without needing a bank. No middlemen, no central authority, just pure mathematics. But how was Bitcoin supposed to work? Miners would verify transactions and receive Bitcoin as a reward. Each transaction was recorded in a block, and each block was linked to the next, forming the blockchain a system that was nearly impossible to tamper with. A few months later, on January 3rd, 2009, the first block in the Bitcoin network was mined. This block, known as the Genesis block, marked the beginning of a financial revolution. But inside this block, Satoshi left a hidden message. The Times, 3 John 2009 Chancellor on Brink of Second Bailout for Banks. This sentence was taken from the Times newspaper on that very day, serving as a statement against the traditional banking system and a warning for the future. Bitcoin was created to solve the world's financial problems. A few days later, on January 12, 2009, the first Bitcoin transaction in history took place. Satoshi Nakamoto sent 10 bitcoins to a programmer named Hal Finney. This was the beginning of a revolution. Gradually, more people started using bitcoin. Developers joined the network, and what started as just an idea on paper became a real, unstoppable system. From a simple paper to the first block to the first transaction, this was the story of bitcoin's creation. But this is just the beginning. In the next videos, We'll talk about Bitcoin mining, buying and selling, and the future of this technology. So stay with me.